I got no hearts to get and I got no hearts to give. It's low. I just peed. Sometimes a brother just need no hearts to What the hell? I was like, I know my eyes ain't deceiving me. This me. What the no hearts to freaky give. ass. What's good? Guys, Josh, your boy Mega back with another video today. I'm going to react to catfishing by the one and only D Generosity. I know it's been a minute, you know, I've been dealing with some personal shit on, you know, personal, you know, personal shit on this side, you know, but you know, I'm back and I'm better. I'm back, back in blood, you know. I feel like I keep saying that. Hopefully I'm, I'm back for good this time. But yeah, before I get into the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to write to next in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Love, a special connection of affection between two beings. These connections mm. can be had in many ways between mom and child, pet and owner, and bros and homies. Love is a universal feeling that comes in all shapes and sizes. But sometimes we're looking for an even closer connection, something Type more shit. intimate that even your homies can't provide you with. A romantical connection. Hold up. This generosity, is this like his animation? Okay, I okay, he stepped it up a little bit. Animation and so everything. Deep, you can start a tree with it with you and your partner. You've seen those romance movies and want something that they have in it. But the thing is, your riz is on the negatives. You afraid to talk to your POI in real life. You're just like me for real. So you look for love in other easier places like the internet. Downloading apps like Bumble and Farmers Only, uh. hoping to find your true love. You swipe and swipe and swipe, but nobody want to match with your ugly ass. Nobody like fuck you with you, real. damn. You start to lose hope. That's real. But then you finally have a match. And this person is one of the most beautiful people you've ever seen. Like this woman has Lupani running. No, this person fuck? is one of the most beautiful people you've ever seen. I know. Seen. I, I'm not gonna like pause this it, woman but has I know Lupani what I'm running about. for its money. You guys start chatting, finding out you two have so much in common. She likes the same movies as you, the same music, food, likes, dislikes. She is you, but the girl version. Exactly what every guy wants. You guys Twin. chat so much that you end up exchanging numbers, scheduling a call with her later tonight. The time comes and you start to get hype. After watching some YouTube deep voice tutorials, you feel deep like voice you're ready tutorials for the is call. crazy. You look at your phone, <laughs> it's ringing. Have y'all ever done that before? Deep voice tutorial? Shoot, I know me naturally. I just have a naturally deep voice. So, you know, I ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just naturally talk like this. Let me stop. Let me stop. You pick it up and smoothly answer. Yo, what's up? What's up, Boo Boo Bear? How you doing? H who is this? <laughs> what you mean, who this? It's Jessica, the baddie you've been chatting with. Oh, yeah, Jessica. Man, your voice. <laughs> Jessica got a deeper voice than him. <laughs> Sound even sexier than I expected, making me go crazy. Mmm. Hello? Sweetie Pie, you still there? Baby, I can hear you breathing on the line, boo boo. Pick up the goddamn phone! Oh, you hang up immediately. <laughs> what the hell was that? That ain't sound like a Jessica. That sounded like a Jermaine. Well, <laughs> Jermaine. How, how could this be? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, my friend, but you've just been a victim of catfishing. Mm. Now, if you still don't really know what catfishing is, I, I literally just described it. High Basically, key. you meet someone online, think they're cute and chill, then turns out when meeting them in person, in reality, they're Jabba the Hutt on the inside and out, Ugh. having a completely different personality or sometimes even a completely different sex than the person you thought you were speaking to. In short, you got confronted. You just got played like a fiddle. And after a betrayal like this, you'd either never trust online dating again or take your problems to television to tell uh, your story catfish. so others don't have to have the same experience. <laughs> nah, this episode was funny, bro. If y'all don't know the maximum got this episode, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it. Y'all go, go search it up, bro. This shit was funny. Because apparently the act of deceit happens a lot more than some might think. You see, some other words for catfishing is called lying about who you are. And we've been doing this since literally the beginning of time. Mussolini even tried catfishing as a German soldier so he could get past the Switzerland border. But there the partisans was like, hey, you, you ain't German. Musa, ain't that you? Yeah, <laughs> you you almost got us there for a second, bro. You almost got us, bro. <laughs> you almost had us, bro. <laughs> uh, all right, face the wall. There are many ways catfishing can be interpreted, but it's mainly used as a term for being fooled in online dating. And that I ain't gonna hold you, bro. If you get in catfish in like the year 2024, I, I don't really feel sorry for you. Like the show Catfish, like I, real shit. Like I used to feel bad for these people, but you know the show's still going on type shit. Like that shit is still going on. <laughs> and it's like, bro, we're in the year 2024. This is not 2014. You can't just be like, damn, I thought you was real. Like, bro, come on. Like there are signs to tell someone's not real. Like, and it's very obvious and 
like very blatant and probably more obvious than you think type of shit so like i don't really be feeling bad for people that get catfished nowadays but that's just me that's because of this dude neve scooby-doo and two other people don't matter created a documentary back in 2010 titled cat 2010 Describe type shit like bro we in the year 2024 had an online relationship with a girl he met on facebook who turns out was catfishing him the documentary got popular and he got his own tv show and blah blah blah, 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 blah. everybody already know this show would be one of the top shows for me whenever nothing was on cartoon network or disney channel and every episode high key this is a show that you used to just you know surf through because it was on mtv type shit was it was it on mtv i think so it was on mtv and you know mtv they was either playing this or fucking ridiculousness so <laughs> thought of this show was a trip each episode about a person flirting to this person online and them talking with neve trying to figure out if the person on the other end is really them and the entire episode you're on the edge of your seat curling your toes bouncing up and down excitedly to see the reveal because you know yourself they ain't gonna be their picture they never are. Half the time they come out looking like the cart type. <laughs> and this would be combined the funniest cart and also is crazy. saddest thing I've ever seen. Sad because you know these people are looking for love. They're looking for a connection. Whether that be online or in person. They, you know, they're just trying to look for someone to love, man. And they get lied to like that, bro. That's just sad, man. When they be crying and shit, you be feeling bad for them. But it's like, sometimes it's like, bro, how did you fall for this, bro? Because they be breaking it down through the episode. And it's like, bro, like, you mean you tell me you knew her for fucking three months, nigga? <laughs> You've never seen her? No, no, no. It'd be crazy because they be on there talking about some, we've been texting and talking to each other for three years, but I've never seen her. And it's like, bro, three years? And you've never seen her, never had a conference, never talked to nothing, bro. Like sometimes there'd be these catfishes that I'd be like, man, you really got catfish like that? You really thought Michelle Obama was talking to you, bro? And even for the, the what did I just, say? bro? I I did not see this video before, bro. I swear to God, <laughs> I literally just said that. Ones that are actually the real person. They're actually pretty wholesome. I actually got nothing negative to say. And after watching all this, makes me realize dating is hard. Yeah. Like you and me. What are we gonna do for Valentine's? Or did for Valentine's? I don't know when this video coming out. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm I was gonna say this shit about like a couple of days. In a row. I got no boo to feed chocolate to or read the Book of Mormon with. I got none of that. I got no hearts to get and I got no hearts to give. It's low. Yes, I just peed. Sometimes a brother just need no hearts to. <laughs> what the hell? I was like, I know my eyes ain't deceiving me. Get, Piss me. I what got the no hearts to freaky give. ass. It's long. Sometimes a brother just need a hug. So I can understand the venture off to online dating. I can understand that. I even tried it myself and not to brag, but I got at least two or three likes. And one of them was a dude. I know. How? How does that even happen? I, mean, I said I like women on the profile, but like, man, they just trying to give me options at this point, man. I, I was losing <laughs> myself, man. I was even considering watching that Coco Melon for losers, man. Thought it'd be something to relate to. Thank God I haven't fallen that far off. Yet, yeah, I was Ugh. down in the deep, dark crevices of the sunken place. Except not really, because at least the people that got in the sunken place got before they got down there. I can understand why people get catfish. We all want a special human connection with someone else that, that we can relate to, bro. Even if it's online, bro. Or sis, I don't know who's watching. That's why I can understand how some people could get catfish. Like, I feel bad for those guys, bro. I do. But that sadness only comes to Oh, I hate it, bro. If y'all seen the show. Those guys, bro. I do. But that's... Bro, I fucking hated this bitch, bro. This girl is evil, bro. She was just evil. She was like a catfish and she didn't even feel any, like she didn't feel bad for it too. Like what the hell? Weird ass. Sadness only comes why to you an big extent. You know, not, not gonna <laughs> lie, I, I don't know how people get catfish in this modern day. Like, how is catfish still a thing? Like the show ain't fake or anything. I just thought people would be more skeptical when online dating now. If I'm online dating and I have the slightest ounce of suspicion that the person I'm talking to ain't who they are, I'm gonna immediately tell them, yo, let's FaceTime tonight. And if they say, nah, my dad's funeral today, bullshit! I know you're lying. Your real name, not That's Tanya. Exactly your real what name, I said parents. too. I should have known this, bro. I can hear your Adam's apple on your voice memos, bro. I got a strike system when it comes to dating people online and finding out whether they're a catfish or <laughs> not. And strike one bitch. is always if they like me or not. Like, what? You like me? What's there like about me? My personality? Man, I know you lying. Second strike, never wanted to FaceTime. We already talked about it. Dead dad's funeral. That's got to be cat, bro. And I don't care if it isn't. FaceTime me. I want to see his body. And third and final strike is if they never ever 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 want to meet up like they always delay you two meeting up fighting 
You never want to meet up. You don't want to FaceTime. And you like me? You must be Neville from iCarly, bro. I can see through you. Also, the last thing I'll do if I think I'm getting catfish is contact me. Bro, like what? Ooh. I ain't trying to let people find out. <laughs> yeah, that I ain't know the niggas that hairy. What the hell? Six hundred pounds, Stephen oh, Hawking. No. I'm taking me getting catfished to my grave. So I'm damn sure not telling. Like you know, I bet. I like imagine now nah, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Think I'm like, hold up, what? Hey, Mecca, that was you on catfish? <laughs> Bro, nah, he, he's spitting, bro. I'm taking that shit to the grave, bro. Ain't no way. Nobody's knowing that shit. That shit is so embarrassing, bro. By someone that I thought was Billy from Stranger Things, and I gave them $10,000 without even knowing if they really are them. Like, how does that even happen? Don't be sending random wait, 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 people. What the hell? Stranger Things fans leave husband, leaves husband, sends 10000 to Catfish, claiming to be Daikri Mont Montgomery. What the hell? What the? What the fuck? That shit is, man. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we just have 10,000 laying around just to do some bullshit like this is crazy. How does that even happen? Don't be sending random people online your money. None of us got that Timu level of motion. Having five Super Bowl ads and shit. Unless you're giving money to me. <laughs> you know, that, that's a different story. It's got me thinking how much bread catfish and Loki be both. Scamming a grandma out of the stack <laughs> just because I said I'm Denzel, bro. That shit sound easy. I gotta try that one day. But 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 kids don't try that. That's messed up. Damn, I already ran out of to say. Yo, this writer's block got me on the chokehold, bro. I ain't gonna let that stop me though. I guess all in all, catfishing is bad. Don't do it, bro. Unless you're catfishing pedals. Then man, let me join in. <laughs> in conclusion, I'm feeling lightheaded. I got I heard um this one person. They were saying they was catfishing uh pedos. He would, he would like catch them and it was like uh send them money or I'll expose you and then hey man, they send the money. Maybe I should try that. How would you even hold up? You probably would have to pose as a 14 year old or, you know, an underage person, something like that. And, then, you know, that actually could be, you know, uh, you know hold up. Let me think. I actually make some good money off that. I might actually, you know, write that down in my notes. <laughs> Start extorting people. Like I said, bro, I don't understand how people like fall for it, bro. And catfish, like in today's day and age, if you watch the show, you'd be like, bro, think to yourself, like, bro, how did you let this happen? You mean to me you've been talking for a whole year? Y'all y'all have never talked on the phone. No FaceTime, no nothing. And this motherfucker, this motherfucker looked like a, a, a goddamn, uh, a handsome Squidward. And they never want to show that to you? Like, come on now. This is a funny video. Let me know what you guys thought about in the comments down below. Let me know what you want me to write to next in the comments down below. And I'll see y'all the next one. All right. Peace.